so welcome to our channel electronics on vr and thank you for your support please like subscribe and comment so we are have started one series on interview questions so second question which is asked by you that is how to decide the band radius in wiring harness routing so today we will discuss about the band radius in wiring harness routing so first we will try to understand what is band radius so in the in this corner you can see here in the downside so if this is your bundle this is your bundle for, for wiring harness then this is your diameter of that bundle t and this is the your radius which is taking from the center so we call it minimum radius of bundle center the curve okay so we take we have when definition of taking the minimum band radius so what are the reason of taking the minimum band radius first we will try to understand so here we have written three major regions where we have to consider the minimum band radius and what are the reasons for that considering the minimum band radius at all so first is the mechanical strain on the wire and insulation so let me give you one example so this is my device and this is my device header and i am going to route my wiring harness and this is my bundle and i am going to connect like this on this device okay this is my connector on a harness side and this is connector on device side okay so when you route your harness through this bundle like this so you have to give some definition of minimum band radius suppose if you don't give any minimum radius bending radius and you directly go like this so you can think about that how much mechanical strain will be happening on the wires and the insulation and definitely if you don't consider this factor it will affect your harness uh, you know durability it will break and it will damage uh, you know during the installation or within you know one year or two years not even one years be because you will be having some movement right dynamic movement you will be having and during that it will come out so this is the first reason second thing let me erase it second thing suppose you 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 have your device here and this is my bundle and this is my bundle side or harness side connector you have to provide some slack right if you don't provide any slack slack means some extra length for the assembly and disassembly of disassembly of the connector if you don't provide any slack or extra length for the assembly or disassembly and you are directly connecting this here then it would be very difficult for the assembly of the connector or wiring harness right so this is also one of the region you have to provide the minimum bending radius what we need to provide that we will see in further sec third one is damage of ceiling so there are chances of damaging the ceiling as well if you do not provide any uh, any minimum band radius so this is also one of the regions so these are the three main regions where you because of which you have to consider the minimum band radius now coming to the what are the different standards so this is the standard as50881 this is the standard which is used in the aerospace industry so again i am saying in uh, we uh, sorry in uh, car manufacturing or the cv commercial vehicle manufacturing it might be different but in aerospace this is the standard which used as50881 you can see for, for the other industry what are the standards might be using you can comment in the comment box as well so selection of band radius comes from the industry in the standard that is as50881 that is for the aerospace industry apart from these regions which we have you know discussed above there might be other factors also like first one is the temperature right and second is the flexibility of that particular wire or the bundle right and 
flexibility of bundle will define from the wires wire how much flexible then bundle will also be flexible in that way if your insulation also flexible so first is temperature so when you are in cold temperature so material becomes hard and it can break those things you have to consider but when you are in hot temperature material becomes soft and it can occur the uh, you know abrasion high abrasion so this is the effect of temperature and flexibility also you know suppose if your bundle is more flexible right so it is easy to bend right that particular so it will not affect that much compared to the hard bundle so suppose the bundle or insulation is very hard or not flexible then it will be very difficult for the assembly so those factors also comes when you are deciding the minimum band radius but what industry is following the band radius i will give you some of the examples let me go to some examples so minimum band radius how it has to be calculated cable outer diameter into cable multipliers so this is multiplier so multipliers comes from this figure we will see so cable outer diameter this is the cable uh, outer diameter that is d then cable multiplier cable multiplier will come based on this d right so so this is our bending radius calculation so bending radius is equals to d into now multiplier so suppose your outer diameter this diameter is ranging between 0 to 5 0 to 5 then you can keep the same diameter as well if your bundle is flexible so bending radius will be also 5 you understand my point so let me say one more time this is my bend, bending radius bending uh, bending radius sorry let me raise one more time so this is my bending radius bending radius is equals to outer diameter that is d and the multiplier that is suppose i take m so suppose if your outer diameter is ranging between 0 to 5 okay so first case then your bending radius also you can maintain minimum bending radius 5 itself okay but if your bending uh, sorry if your diameter is ranging from 5 to 10 5 to 10 so minimum bending radius you have to maintain that is 2d 2d means 2 is the multiplier d is the diameter of this okay so suppose if my diameter harness diameter is 7 so 2 into 7 is equals to 14 this is how you have to maintain so let me take few more example so suppose your bundle diameter is your bundle diameter is 25 so if you see 25 so minimum band radius is coming around how much that is so bending radius is coming for 25 for 25 it is coming as 6d so 6 into 25 how much 150 suppose your bundle diameter is coming on 28 so 28 would be in the will be hitting on this right this one so your bending radius is coming is 8d then 8 into 28 that would be 224 anything you can take suppose if i take the example of 30 so 30 30 is coming here right 30 is coming hitting here right so if my diameter is uh, sorry uh, 30 if my diameter is 30 then my bending radius would be 8d 8 into 30 that would be 240 so this is how you have to calculate your bending radius so most of the companies would be having this type of graph but as of now you can understand that this is the graph so if it is coming on 5 then it would be 2 if it is 10 then it would be 4d then if it is 50 then it also 4d then 20 it would be 5d then 25 it would be 6d if it is 30 then 8d and so on 
so this is how your bending radius minimum bending radius will be calculated okay so as already i have told you uh, this thing earlier that this all depends on the flexibility of wire and temperature surrounding condition as well so you have to take care of this thing uh, this particular thing as well but if you have any question you can ask let me show you some of the example as well so radius at minimum bending radius what it is basically it define the cable can be bent without damaging it smaller the radius greater require the flexibility of the material so suppose if you are taking the smaller radius then flexibility should be more on that particular material the wire for which you uh, you have constructed your uh, you know bundle let me take you through some of the example that where and how the wiring harness routed is done so if you see here we have the you know clamping provision here the clipping provision here and still we have given the proper slack on this you know and uh, if you see here we have done the clamping here and we did not given any slack here see it is very straight you can see here so this is not the right way this is not a good ng and this is where you can give some slack to movement of the bundle that would be always good here also if you see here the proper slack is given for the assembly and disassembly of the connector but here it is very less you know slack is given for the disassembly so as i told earlier also bending radius is useful in you know for dfm uh, for dfa uh, and dfm uh, for design for assembly or design for serviceability so when you are assembling or disassembling for the particular connector it would be very difficult if you do not give extra length for that particular purpose but it depends that whether it requires or not if it is required you have to give so that is these are the cases you can see here these are the few cases where you have the fixed x application you need 10x into cable diameter when you have the moving applications you need 15 into cable diameter so it all depends on the this multiplier factor this 10x or 15x all depends on the bundle diameter as i explained you earlier here also so this particular graph is, is also not a, a you can you cannot say that you have to take every time and you have to be you know fight on this i have read or someone has told me like this if your bundle diameter is 25 then i have to take the 60 6 into 25 150 it is not like that you should not take this particular bend radius in that way you can say in an interview that it should be in this way it is the minimum radius which i follow in my uh, you know company but if someone is saying that okay i am able to make in 100 mm radius and but he will be some condition suppose that the uh, bundle which he is routing it is very straight it has many clipping provision so it is very fixed very straight static so in that type of condition if he is managing with the clipping provisions or some you know support or some trough itself he is using or some channels he is using so in that condition there is a case and there is a possibility okay that he will be able to manage in 100 also Okay. so you have to be little bit flexible as our bundle is flexible you have to be in flexible when you are giving this particular answer to the interviewer you should not be very you know rigid on that no no i have to go with the 150 only it depends on the as i told you temperature also flexibility of the bundle also and uh, the clipping provision support also so these are the things you have to take in this way and if you have any comments uh, on this you please comment in the comment box we will try to address and thank you for your time if you like the content of this video please like subscribe and comment thank you